Just let me just learn you a thing or two, brother. Okay, so we're basically making a beautiful paper mache baby right here. A beautiful paper mache baby. You see this? Look at that. Okay. Right there, it's nice and fluffy, but if I squish it, you see that? You see how it just packs together like that? Very little water. It's almost like it's dry. It's just damp. It's like when your dryer doesn't dry your clothes <laughs> all the way. Damp, okay? Damp. A little, little bit of moisture, okay? Got them beautiful. So you got this vacuum hose right here. It's a four-incher, okay? Sucks this up. Takes that recycle back to that beautiful machine we got, and it's the best of the best. Cool machines, biggest machine they ever did make. All right, feller? And uh, this ain't your mom and pop Home Depot set up. Got that beautiful water line coming back with that three-inch supply hose right there, and then it gets reduced down right there, feller. To this, we call it, well, I'm not gonna tell you what we call it, actually, because there might be children in here. Oh, you, you gotta give him that hook to it. Uh, <laughs> and then, so it comes to this beautiful spray hose you see right here, beautiful little spray jets, okay? Small, small spray jets. Turn that little valve on. And what it's doing is the water is actually in front of the cellulose. So it's wetting the wood down. And uh, once I come back, shave that off with the uh, the scrubber there, this gets sucked back up. There's a, we can show you the machine here later, uh, but there's a dry hopper. You throw the, the dry material in and uh, it holds about 20 bags, big, huge son of a gun. And uh, this stuff that we're sucking back up is going into a recycle hopper. And uh, between the recycle hopper and the dry hopper, there's this thing called an airlock. And the airlock, uh, what it's doing is it's got uh, augers inside there that is chewing up and mixing up uh, the dry and the, the recycled material. Now what it does is it goes into this thing, it's called an airlock because there's a huge blower motor that's just shoving air. And there's seals inside that lock that's just spinning that cellulose around and it's not letting air pass. And that's what's creating all the pressure that's blowing back up the supply hose. There's about 200 foot of that hose, so that's a lot of air that's got to move that material, you know, all the way from the rig down there, up here. Uh, and then we just spray it into the cavity right there. But the beautiful thing is, is you get all the sagging and settling and all that stuff that people talk crap about uh, because they don't know what they're doing. Uh, they put too much water on it, and then gravity, of course, takes its toll when you get what they call little smiley faces or, you know, the cavity will settle down a good little bit. Uh, but like I said, very minimal water, and then the two get blended back together. Uh, so everything is nice and even, beautiful process. I mean, that stuff, it's, it's in there. It's not going anywhere. 30 years from now, they tear this house down, it's going to be there. So. It's about the process.